Fellas, Sunday night, it doesn't get much bigger than this. What are we most excited about? How are we up in our game? Oh, do we want to start Tom Brady? Do you want to start Dallas? Do you want to start the opener with, uh, with Buffalo and L.A.? Where do we start? Can we start with Kit here at about <laughs> six foot four? I've never, I've never seen you. Not that she's on a box Not or anything Not like that. Thanks, fellas. If you get beat, you get beat. That's the way it goes. You guys are such the dynamic duo. Everybody's fired up. Who could we compare you to in Hollywood? I mean, or could we do like a Lennon McCartney? Could we do a Thelma and Louise? Uh, Thelma and Louise, I like that. <laughs> we're going right over the cliff. <laughs> that means we're dying in this final scene. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, welcome to Sunday Night Football. Mike, thanks. It's great to be back. And it's a full circle moment for Melissa Stark, who returns to the gridiron for the first time in 20 years as Sunday Night Football's new sideline reporter. What does this mean to you? It is so exciting. I was on the sidelines back in in the early 2000s, I left to start a family, to have my first child. And here I am coming back, you know, 20 years later, four teenagers later. I always told my husband I was gonna be replaced by younger women in the business. And so just to be asked to come back and to have this opportunity, it's, uh, as you know, it's incredible. We're happy, we, we get to talk football a little. Another trailblazer, Maria Taylor, making NBC history, joining Tony Dungy on the pregame show, Football Night in America. What does it mean to be the first female full-time host to sit in that chair? Boom! <laughs> It's honestly humbling and a little bit shocking. Like, I never in my wildest dream believed this would be possible, but I recognize how important it is for young girls sitting at home to see me sitting in that seat and believe that anything's possible. 